Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Before we get started today, I am announcing the winner to our last giveaway. And the winner is Bella Blunts. Congratulations to you, Bella. Send me a DM on Instagram with your address so I can send out your surprise present. And we are having another giveaway on our next video. Well, the video is coming up right now, okay? And just watch the video to see how you enter to win the giveaway. And for today's nails, we are doing some fun LV nails again. I love LV with snakes, of course. It's super cute, super trendy, and super easy. All right, guys, check it out. I already have the Not Polish Universal tips on and I am using number 113 from Not Polish again today. Apply on your bead, it's still kind of runny, clean your brush, and then now you work into the cuticles first because the product is still runny. We don't want to work on the products yet. So just lightly flush the powder into the cuticle first and once the powder set a little bit more, then now I'm just going to drag the rest of the product towards the tip of the towards the tip of the nail and remember to keep your clients fingers always always at a downward angle when you guys working with uh, when you guys applying on the powder okay because when it's at a downward angle gravity will help pulls it down if you hold it at a more level um angle like more straight level then um, when the product started to run, it will run on both side of the nail, like the on the both side of the nails, rather than running nice and clean towards the tips. Right? You want it towards the tip, not spilling on both side of the nail. So make sure you hold it at a downward angle. Okay? And I don't know what happened. I didn't capture the first part of this color. Sometimes when I click record and um, I'm because I'm wearing gloves, so my phone doesn't always click for me i don't know why but um this color is number 153 okay guys it's my new favorite color well it has been my favorite color for a long time i love all colors but nudes i love nudes all right and we're gonna apply the second bead on there you go hold it in place first still kind of runny a little bit i'm gonna clean the edges first you see how it when it's run on the side a little bit i'll make sure i clean it up first while the product is wet and then i'll work on pulling the rest of my product down towards the fingertips just like that and um apply a little bit more pressure once you go to, when once you get towards the tip because why we gotta apply a little bit more pressure to because the product is set in so you want to apply more pressure to drag it towards the tip right Okay, there you go. And then just make sure everything's nice and neat, okay? So we don't have to spend a lot of time filing. And um, of course, I always use my five in one not polished bit, right? This is um, uh, ice alternate between a super cut and a cross cut. And a super cut is just the same exact bit, but it's just a fine bit, finer bit find a grit <laughs> and this is a medium grit so that's the difference okay guys and I'm just gonna nicely clean it up and um I'm, I am really excited for my new hand because looking at my cuticles is so chewed up I try I try to fix it so you see how I trimmed it a little bit right there I think it made it worse it was like a little piece hanging it's almost like even if it's on a fake hand I feel like that's the nail tech in me. <laughs> Even it's a silicone hand and there was a piece of, well, looks like a piece of hang nail. So I end up trimming it and I trim a whole chunk off, okay? So um, my new hands come in, I'm super excited. So I hope, I hope I keep it nice and neat this time because that'll be my third hand, okay? And uh, of course I use the um, not polish hand file nail file is my favorite file you guys have to try it once you try it you will love it all right buff it nice and clean right and now i'm gonna go in with my detail brush and you notice how the brush is actually a smaller shorter bristle so when i'm working with like smaller details i like a smaller brush like that because i have more of a control of a steady control in my little design and then when i do like when i want to switch to like a longer um a bigger piece or like a, a 
I, I don't know I alternate between the short and the long the long one usually I use it to make like a D French or like um, D French or like a V French or um, so more like a straight line when I'm looking to make a really long straight line I use my longer brush and then I use my shorter brush for like little little more detail like this and you probably saw it like my previous LV um, design I did I used the smaller brush too the shorter brush and my bandana design stuff like that I use a shorter brush because I feel like I have more control of my design when it's um, shorter and when it's longer I, I do have control too but it just give me more of a long straight lines because with a short line when you do a long with a shorter bristle when you do a long line you I feel like you constantly have to pick up the brush right so when you drag it down and you kind of pick it up a little bit it doesn't give you that long straight line it can get kind of choppy does that make sense I don't know I'm rambling right now okay guys and uh excuse me a little bit powder got on my um my nail because I have powder on my glove so sometimes it gets on my nail so I'm sorry about that okay now I'll just give it a little tongue so you see how I did the little outline of the snake first and then I went in and thicken it up so now I am using a longer br uh, longer brush you see it's longer bristle so this is for me to do like long lines like this you see how look boom one sh one stroke one long stroke there you go I use the long brush for one long stroke so it give me more of a long straight line because if I use a small one I can't really make my line too long uh, without it looking choppy because I'm constantly have to pick up my brush right my short brush so it, it gets a little choppy so now that I have the outline all done I'm gonna go in with just the um, the the nail brush and I'm just gonna brush it on because it is a bigger piece of the French so if you're gonna go use the um, detail brush to color it in it might take a long time so I just went ahead and use my um, just the brush from the bottle and just paint it on and you see you notice how it looks kind of uneven around where the French is at don't worry once I clean this up a little bit more remember to slightly touch it and then I'm gonna go in with my detail brush and I am gonna make sure that it looks all the paints are even okay guys so i'm just gonna go in again make sure all the paints are even there you go and for anybody's asking this long detail brush is from nails by dev you can find her on Instagram. I love her brush. Oh, and before we do the LV sticker on top of this French, what I'm going to do is I took, um, you know, a little bit of piece of um, napkin and wiped it down with alcohol because the gel, the white gel is going to be, it's going to be like having a, a sticky um, finish. So when I go to stick on my uh, LV sticker, it might not stick to it. So by removing all that residue, uh, my sticker will stick to it better. Okay. And always use a little tweezer to pick these little things up and uh, to um, make sure you use the flat side of the tweezer to kind of rub it in so rub out all the air bubble you see that I use the tweezer to kind of just rub it into the nail and that's all we're doing right now is sticking on the stickers and like I said this design is pretty simple all right just a bunch of LV stickers and um for my question of the day today, okay, is how long would it take for you guys to finish this set of nails? This exact set and how much do you guys charge for it around your area? Okay, leave your comment down below and that's how you enter. Oh, and for the little LVs on the snake, you see, I uh, used that exacto knife and I trimmed all those tiny little LV on, you see that? There you go clever right because the small um the smaller lv's logos and sign it does not come separate like it's on the sheet but it's not um separated it's one long piece so you know i have to trim it but you see now i'm sticking it on don't worry if you can see the clear 
around the sticker you see the trimming around the sticker you can see the little clear don't worry about that once you put on the top coat you won't be able to see it anymore and um same with the snake you see how I, I wiped it down just to make sure i remove all the sticky residue so the sticker doesn't slide off right so there you go i'm just gonna go stick this on real quick and for this lv stickers they're also available on notpolish.com if you guys are interested So once it's done, I just want to secure the sticker a lot more. So I'm going to go in with a thin layer of base gel, okay? Just a thin layer of base gel and just apply a really thinly piece right there. And then same goes for the, um, the French also, okay? There you go. And same for this. Why did I apply the base gel on? I just want to make sure the sticker doesn't peel off, right? I just want extra security on my sticker. So I just applied a really thin layer of base gel on. Of course, always clean the edges a little bit and then cure it under the light for 30 seconds. All right, now this is cure. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the whole set of nail with matte top coat, okay? This is a matte, not polished top coat. There you go, it's just, a, there you go, I got a little something on there. Okay, I'm gonna just pull it off. All right, just apply on the matte top coat. Cure it for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna go in and do the little white outlines with the sparkle. So make sure you finish it all off with matte top coat or shiny top coat. Or whatever you guys decided to do but just make sure you finish it off with a finishing top before we move on to the next step okay and then again matte top coat on this nail too um i got a little piece of sticker there you go there you go same all done now i'm just gonna clean the edges a little bit why do we always do this because gel likes to run right so once you apply it on to the fifth finger it might run onto the side a little bit so it can ruin the shape of the nail so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in and lightly clean off the edges just to make sure it keeps the shape nice and clean and again look a longer bristle brush <laughs> longer bristle brush okay that's a little tongue twister for me anyway so the longer brush for the long little line for the longer lines all right and once the matte top coat is on we're gonna go in and um paint the gel on okay guys so i'm just gonna paint the gel on just like that So now I'm just gonna go in and straighten up. I'm just straightening up the lines, okay guys? And um, you see how it's the longer brush? So it give me a longer straight line, all right? And before you cure it, okay, the gel is still wet. I am gonna pour the white glitter directly on top of the wet gel. 
okay this glitter is available online on polish also all right and i flicked it off lightly like that and i'm just gonna clean off the edges just a little bit now i cure it under the light for 30 seconds and i dust it off and no we do not put a top coat on top of the glitter okay because that will defeat the purpose of the sugar effect so just make sure um you let your clients know top coat does not go over the glitters or else the effect is not going to be the same and without the top coat over the top the uh the, the the glitter will still last as just as long okay guys 